And so we're going to enjoy our last few moments with these lions before it's time to leave the sighting and head out to see what else we can find for the last half an hour of the sunrise safari. All seems quiet now. And they have not moved one... Okay, that's not true. They might have moved one or two muscles, twitching an ear every now and again, maybe flicking a tail when they got them to be their most active. But for now, a lot of energy expended, and it's time to rest and recuperate. And Christy, um, I know that Cheetah Plains did publish an amazing blog which goes into the background of the Inkuhuma Pride in a little bit more depth in terms of the relationship of the Inkuhumas and also their history. I'm going to try and catch Andrew and Ephraim at some point and have a long chat about the story behind the Inkuhumas because they've been here for many generations and they have fascinating stories. But as far as I can tell, Amber Eyes is one of the eldest females. However, she is not the oldest. The oldest female is the mother with cubs. And in fact, the one that may have moved off into the drainage line with the middle set of cubs. Sorry, I really hope you're keeping track of this and jotting it all down on a piece of pen and paper. From what I understand, that female is either the mother of all four of the rest of the lionesses, but with Amber Eyes being the eldest and the rest of them being her younger sisters from a different litter, or the she is the mother of some of the females and the rest of them are nieces. They will all be related to each other, but Amber Eyes is not the mother of the pride. She's not the oldest member of the pride, as far as I can tell. Just That's just by judging and looking at the condition of their teeth and so on. However, she is older than the other three. And what makes her so unique, of course, is the, the characteristic that gives her her name, which is those bright orange eyes of hers. And she does really seem to play, all lionesses play a critical role, but it seems to me that whenever there's action happening, Amber Eyes is in the forefront. Whether it's a buffalo hunt or a situation like the one that we witnessed this morning, she's always there. Somehow, there is, a, there is definite characteristics to different individual animals. Leopards are the same. Some individuals have got more character than others in aggression. It was the same with the Birmingham boys. I always felt that the youngest member of the group, that they called Scrapper or Tokolosh, he has since been killed due to natural causes. But I always felt that Scrapper, to me, had displayed a huge amount of character. He was the youngest, he was the smallest, and yet or one of the smallest, and at the same time he was also the fall he was always in the front, again, like Amber Eyes, in the front of all of the action. Storming Buffalo Kills, one of the first to lead the assaults against the Matimbas, at least the audio assaults, when the the Birmingham boys moved in and roared. As far as we knew, the Birmingham boys and the Matimbas never came to blows, but that could be that's we only spend a certain percentage of these cats' lives with them. So we don't know exactly went on, what went on behind the scenes. For now, though, all is peaceful and the Birmingham boys have done their amazing job of producing cubs and looking after them in terms of protecting the territory. They've now fathered eight Styx cubs, eight Inkuhuma cubs, and are doing a good job of protecting this territorial region. So they've done what male lions should do. Uh, we have a question which is, because we've spent the majority of our morning with elephants or lions, and the question is whether or not lions are afraid of elephants. And the answer is yes, they are. Sort of. It's, it's not really fear. They're wary of elephants, and elephants often chase them. But the lions are quite lackadaisical about their approach because they know that they're faster and more agile. So they'll let an elephant walk right up close to them if the elephant doesn't see them. But if the elephant comes running at them, then they'll get up and they'll run 50 meters away and then lie down again. So it's, it's not terror that they have in terms when faced with the threat of an elephant. It's more just kind of, okay, well, you're much bigger than me and I know you don't like me, so I'm just going to move away. And speaking of moving away, we're going to leave our sleepy lions and head